What's up, YouTube? So tonight, me and Dennis are going to watch a movie, and the plan wasn't to do, like, a, a filmed movie night. We were just going to get some food and just watch a movie. It's, it's kind of late, so I didn't want to start a video. But what do you really want to watch? Not what I really want to watch. I you really want to watch. I, you've been wanting to watch this for a long time. I don't mind watching. I, I do want to see it, too, but you've been, oh, when are we going to do this movie night? I want to do this movie night. Okay, I'm the kind of guy that, like, uh... <laughs> I'll talk about like the Raging Bull, like that really that roller coaster at Six Flags. Like I really want to write it. I really want to write it. Kinda. Just so you know, Six Flags is an amusement park where they have the roller coasters. So. I forgot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not everyone lives here. A roller coaster. I'll be yeah. talking about it, and then I'll actually see it and be like, wait, you know what? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> everyone has been hyping this up. Paranormal Activity s still scares the crap out of me. I watched it on my iPod, on the train. I had to pause it because I was so scared. I, I didn't mind paranormal. Didn't really. I don't know why. Demons get to me. <laughs> Insidious, kind of the same thing. Uh... <laughs> On top of that, you have a spicy chicken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got some $5 chicken. Buffalo chicken. I asked the guy, like, hey, is this uh, really spicy? Or he's like, yeah, it's mild. It's mild, it's spicy. I took a lick of one of them, and I had to have, like, two glasses of water, so... It's going to be a horrible night for me. <laughs> I just got basic brownies. Delicious brownies. Brownies and OJ. OJ. What I should have nice... got, got milk, obviously. That would have been a better idea, but... Oh. If you have spicy food, milk. It's like a fire extinguisher for Supposedly, your mouth. Supposedly, that's what the guy says. No, it works. Oh, look at the... Look at... You could... So, yeah. Everyone, smell your computer screen. I bet you can smell it. It's such a potent smell. And here we go. Good luck. Go away. No. No. Oh, tonight's gonna suck. I gotta eat all this crap. That's only one bite. I know. You wanna trade? No. I want the safe wing on my brownies, so I'm good. Brownies. Have fun, John. Please. You ready to watch the movie? Please, sir. No. Please. No. Mmm, it's really good. Dennis, no, this is really good. Mmm. Better than a Brownie. Mm. <laughs> Your face is turning red. <laughs> it's really good. I'm just gonna smoke. <laughs> <laughs> well, Are you better now? <laughs> no. I have to keep it in my mouth or it's gonna get spicy again. <sighs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Yes, yes. We'll do it. We'll do it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yes. Creep up on it. <laughs> That's such an evil face. I know, that's what I'm saying, that the cover. Hopefully that's the scariest thing about the whole movie. keeping all the lights on. Yes, on. okay. That's fine, where are you going? Where are you going, John? <laughs> I didn't even know that light exists back there. <laughs> this is how to watch a horror movie. Yep. You don't want to be close? Unless you're going to snuggle me. John, why is he, why was the electricity bill up so high this month? We watched Sinister. Okay, that explains it. Oh. Yes. Wow, it's so bright. I didn't, I didn't know this basement. <laughs> That's what I didn't know. It's I so bright. Without... I didn't know this basement could get so yeah, bright. It's always so dark. Spooky. Yeah. And John, oh, Christmas lights. See. It's the season to not be scared by Sinister. Yeah. See, we can't be scared with this thing right next to the TV. <laughs> It's only Lionsgate. Oh, okay. Make their, their opening so scary, Lionsgate. I like it. Alright, here we go. Sinister! Yay. Just imagine if the power went out. Just the lights, not the TV. <laughs> okay, we're about an hour into the movie and... <laughs> oh, you have to go to the bathroom, right? Yes. What were you go Go to the bathroom. <laughs> Let's go into the bathroom. Here, give me, give me that. Let's go into the bathroom. Come in here. And the ticket first scared me. There's a clock in here, but then I look over here. This door's open. I don't think that was open before. Are you scared to go to the bathroom? I am, because even the bathroom door's closed. But that usually is closed. All right, I'm this gonna say is this never. right now. Scariest move I've ever, I've ever seen. I'm only an hour. Me ago. too. <laughs> I'm not scared of scary movies. <laughs> we're, uh, I'm about to pee my pants. We'll, we'll explain. There was a scene where, like, you know exactly what's gonna happen, 
and then it happens and you're still scared. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it happened and we're still like, oh God, it's going to happen. La, 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 la. Poof, it still scares the hell out of us. Want to watch a Disney movie after this? Lady and the Tramp? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> okay. He's in the bathroom, but he's completely freaked out, so I'm gonna turn off all the lights in the basement. I'm not looking, it can't scare me. Turn on all the lights. Turn on all the lights. Turn on all the lights. <laughs> Take that. And that. <laughs> You know, the joke was on me. I turned off all the lights and I got scared. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's continue. <clears throat> See you after the movie. Hopefully. <laughs> well, we just finished Sinister. Barely. <laughs> Usually I'm falling asleep by the end of these movie nights movies. <laughs> Rambo, oh, look, an explosion. He just killed someone. Oh, look, all oh, the Sandlot. Yeah, the funny kids. <laughs> I feel like I just drank five monsters. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. I know I won't. I'm going to be running for my car. I don't know the last scary movie that I've seen that did that. Even though a lot of things were predictable, it's like, it's just scary. Let's go through the bad first. And, and I'll combine it with a synopsis because I think the worst part of this movie is the storyline. Yeah. Which is basically, there's an author. He moves into a, a house where there was... Uh, a murder. Basically, he's haunted by a demon, and he moves. The demon follows. I would say that this could, this could almost be a sequel to Insidious. Obviously, not the same characters, but instead of whatever demon it was in, in, in Insidious, it's just another demon. Yeah. Um, it's the same kind of story. I know in Paranormal they they move houses, but the demon follows. Story wise, it is really similar. However, the way that these scares are executed. The most effective scares I've ever seen in any well, movie. We're going through the bad, though, right? Sorry, I'm done with the bad. Okay. <laughs> that was it, the okay, storyline. That's... that's it, the storyline. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, I'm I mean, sorry, one, one more thing. It's a small thing. There's a deputy who's a, really, who's a fan of the author. His acting is kind of goofy. Not as believable as some of the other a uh, acting in, in the movie. By the way, Ethan Hawke is fantastic, the yes. lead actor. Well, my one bad thing with that, I kind of find kind of weird the condition of the film on the reel oh, yeah. was it's like <laughs> blu-ray condition and then he pops in his vhs of his interview and it's all squiggly lines and all the this. tracking's like, bad yeah this the heck, that was weird like just the condition of it is so it was like hd super 8 but <laughs> yeah so small stuff i mean we don't want to see a crappy super 8 anyway so yeah they just made it more convenient we were talking about the lighting before i i love how they had that where they're at the dinner table and there's, it's just one spotlight shooting out the table. He'll be at his desk, and it's just one light coming down, and everything else around him is dark. I, I just, the execution of light is phenomenal in this movie yes, as well. Yes, I was going to say. They're obviously in a house. You can see some features of the house, but behind them is darkness. And so anything can pop out at, at, at any time, and, and stuff does pop out every once in a while. And it keeps you on your toes the whole movie. It, it was so effective. I mean, especially that one spot where uh, the children finally appeared, the past children... You even really scream during that moment. It's right here. This part where the girl's face pops up. Well, you look at that picture. You look at that picture. Yeah. And you're like, eh, that's not that scary. In the movie, I th this has never happened to me before. <laughs> I reflexively screamed like a girl. Loud. I strained my voice. My throat hurts from that one yelp. I, I did too. And I... <laughs> We were, if we were in the movie theater right now, <laughs> wow. we get kicked Ooh, out. Would I feel embarrassed. I think I woke up my parents. And that wasn't the only scream, by the I way. I thought Sam was here at one point. I was like, wow. It was a girly... It wasn't like, ah! It was like, ah! <laughs> and it was... I wasn't trying to be funny. And, and I kind of knew something was happening, but it still got me. The lawnmower scene. I said to Dennis... I don't want to spoil anything, but I said, if something happens with a kid, then I'm turning this movie out. And I, I said it. And then it happened. And we screamed like girls. Yeah, we did. The, okay, so this movie had timing down, and, and the visuals that they showed were perfect. The amount of visuals that they showed. It, I guess the demon, the first time you see it, he's kind of underwater. He's kind of vague looking, but you see enough so that the image stays with you. 
And they didn't overdo it. No. It wasn't like something that just kept reoccurring and reoccurring. It happened at the right moments. It was dark enough so that what you do see, you know, a, a lot of it is kind of up to your own imagination, which is also really frightening. But then the visuals they do give you are really frightening. Is this the best scary movie I've seen? No, because, you know, the storyline isn't that creative. But is this the scariest scary movie I've seen by far? Let's go into the ending. Uh, so, spoilers. Yes, that's, that's what I wanted to get into. Around the middle of the movie, scary crap was going down. And yeah. I was thinking, okay, they're going to save the best for the ending. Crap, it's going to get really scary. That's what I was hoping and for. And the ending happened, but I didn't think it was the scariest part of the movie. No, it was plain. It was, like, it was satisfying, I guess, but it, it, it wasn't the scary. The ending wasn't the scariest part. I, I would say the middle is. basically what I'm saying. I mean, you see all these other tapes of people getting dragged into pools and car on fire with the yeah. chains all wrapped yeah. around it. And then you just have this... Yes, a girl with an axe can be kind of frightening, but you only see the dead basically True. kind of die. I mean, I, you don't even see that. You just see all these other deaths, though, like the cutting of the throats, the walking through the hallways. and They just... were, th those killings were slow. The pool one was, I don't want to say creative, but it was... I'd say it was creative. I mean, it was creative, You, you yeah. expect something like that to just keep topping up. What did the notes say? Like, thank you, daddy, or something? Good night, daddy. Good night, daddy. Like it's like, oh. Yeah, so oh, she okay. drugs him, ties him up, and chops him up. That's not yeah. that creative. It's, that's, and then you see the, the hallways laced in blood. It's like, mm -hmm. you, you couldn't do something else there, like, have her running down the halls, paint, something that's different, like. More creative. Yeah. I agree. I, I think just the ending was too sped up, and it was just like, oh. Okay. You wish you would see, like, the little girl playing with the blood down the hall. Like, something disturbing like that. You just I agree. See, all you see here is painting a little thing on the cardboard box, and then that's it. The guy carries her into the screen. That's it? Yeah, I'll it's agree with really, that. It's like, I'll agree with that. But I, Because I, I found that very disturbing, the playing with the dead bodies. It's like, wow. The kid swinging on the dead body. That was disturbing. The kid jumping into the pool water. and That was your parents. Mm -hmm. Your family. You're playing with your mom's legs right now. Yeah. Listen to what we're saying. The little girl only chopped them up into little pieces. I mean, come on. Can't you get more creative than that? It's pretty disturbing. If you have not seen this and, and, and you're into scary movies, just see it. Strongly recommended. Strongly, yes. strongly and please, recommended. if you have any other suggestions that are scary, then I, I'd like to know at least because... Well, hold on here. That, I, I, there's a difference between scary... This is scary and disturbing. And this was disturbing, but I'm not talking about like... Serbian film and uh, well, I'm saying like Cannibal Friday Holocaust. Don't or... don't recommend stuff like that. I don't want to see that. So how many stars would you give it out of four? Three and a half. Yeah, I give it three. Like I said, it's the scariest movie I've ever seen. It's just the story could have been a little bit more unique, especially compared to the two movies that are on this freaking cover. You know, and I know it's from the same producers and whatnot, but combine these two stories and and you basically have Sinister. We've never been so affected by a movie on a movie night. <laughs> like, Rambo 3 goes to Afghanistan, he kills some people, and there's explosions, and you know, two out of four. But, like, this is, like, we were screaming. We were disturbed. We are disturbed. I couldn't go to the bathroom. Oh, I ate all my chicken, by the way. Yeah, I don't know how I ate. <laughs> it was just, like, instead of biting my fingernails, I was just eating. Okay, I did not think he would be this scared. I gotta go outside, okay? All right, I'm gonna. I'll walk you to your car here. No, you I'll, I'll observe how scary it is outside. Now your garage door is open. Your garage door. What? Your garage door. You know, we, we have to leave it open because the door is not working. Wait, I didn't do that. It's not. It's. Hot, it's hot, hot down. Look down that way. Uh -huh. When I come out here, those lights aren't on, and those lights aren't on. Oh, okay. So they, they knew we come... watched Sinister tonight, so they were nice. Yes. You don't even leave your light on for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't leave any lights on. He just goes straight. You're a there. man. So you're in, a, you're in a Jeep. Nothing bad or scary ever happens in a Jeep. You're safe. Uh, Evil Dead? They had Illinois license plates. Oh, don't yeah. you remember? The new Evil and Dead. It was a red Jeep. You're right. You're screwed. What happened? Never drive home alone after a scary movie. I just had a deer jump out in front of me while driving. 
Take us out, cause we're, cause I'm filming. Take us out. You've been watching Wasting Money One. I'm Dennis. I'm John. And you all have a good night. Have Drive a good night. Home safe. Drive home safe. Right. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, Dennis. Bye. Okay, we totally forgot about this, but we finally have Anderson here. You gotta pick your favorite pun. Okay, so we narrowed down all the puns. And you're, you're, you're overlooking them. First off, we wrote down all the puns. I'm looking through each one of them, trying to figure out which one is the best pun. A really good one, the internal temperature of a tauntaun is lukewarm. Even though I've never seen Star Wars, all of the Star Wars, <laughs> and had to look up what a tauntaun was, because once I knew, it's like an iconic thing. I mean, they replicated it in Family Guy, where they cut open Peter. Yes. Oh, well, Family Guy teaches us so much. <laughs> oh, God. Excellent video, Ryan. So punny. I do like that one. I feel like it's been used a lot. I do like it, though. wonder why the baseball was getting bigger than it hit me. It just feels like it should lead into something. <laughs> what? No, it is really funny, but just the way it's worded. I wondered why the baseball was getting bigger. Because it, because someone threw a baseball but at you. They never answered why. Oh, Ryan. Robert Downey Jr. actually got in trouble in school for ripping up another student's Invincible Iron Man comics. Kind of ironic. You could actually build off of that one. If they were steel books, steel comics, then they would definitely be invincible and could not be ripped up. But then it wouldn't be going with the Iron Man sequence because iron and steel. Anywho, um. Do you like it? Movie related? Good pun. Um, the printer in my office is now called Bob Marley because it's always jamming. Only thing, out of all musicians, why Bob Marley? Maybe he's got a song called Jammin'. We don't, I don't listen to him. Yeah. Dennis just looked it up. Uh, jammin' is a Bob Marley song. Okay, so he gets... Oh, wow. All right. Okay. Good one. Yeah, that one's up there then. I like all the puns that were out there, but we had to limit it to three. The top. Mmm, <laughs> this is close. Could you imagine if you had to pick from like a hundred? <laughs> oh god, we'd be here for a week. We're never doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> so, tying for third, we have Did you hear about the guy whose whole left side was cut off? He's all right now. Oh! <laughs> I think that guy definitely had the right idea with that pun. Also tied for third, we have Robert Downey Jr. actually got in trouble in school for ripping up another student's Invincible Iron Man comic. Kind of ironic. Is that number... Oh. That was it. Oh. <laughs> it's a blast. <laughs> it's a blast. I'll take a little pause before I do the next one. <laughs> a pause? Okay. And number two. The printer in my office is now called Bob Marley because it's always jamming. And number one. Hey, Anderson. Did you know the internal temperature of a tauntaun is lukewarm? No, because it gives a bad look. Why is it quiet? Number one. Congratulations, 31 Film Talk. You came up with Anderson's pun of... Actually, no, it's your pun. What am I taking credit for? I like it. <laughs>